So I said to you guys in my previous vlog that I wanted to set up like a guppy farm in the tank or paladarm you can see behind me and today that's what I'm going to do. I've been actually meaning to do this for a long time so I'm really pleased it's actually happening. Sometimes you just got to get on with stuff. Why am I talking like this? Let's just build a tank. <laughs> Yeah, so that's not the best start. <laughs> okay, so, oh, sorry if I'm a bit out of breath, I just ran up and sat down the stairs with these. So these are some of the rocks that are going in. This is basalt rock, it's, it's really heavy and dense, and I'm a little bit worried about that sort of glass bottom. It's quite thin glass, you see, because obviously it's not an aquarium, it's a, it's a paludarium, so it's not designed to hold tons of water and weight. So I'm gonna just put on the bottom there, I'm gonna put some polystyrene or expanded foam or whatever you want to call it, and then put some gravel on top of that. Although that looks really cool, there's too much rock work. It's taking up too much water space. I've got to have a lot of plants in here as well. Uh, basically, all my epiphyte plants, I want to use this as a storage tank for them as well as a breeding ground for all the guppies. So those rocks, yeah, they look good. They got to come out in the middle. Maybe just have the one and then I can just use the gaps either side for plants. In fact, do I really need this massive one? I'm going to take that out and use those two smaller ones. There we go, that's massively simplified and that's gonna suit our needs a lot better. Now we just need a little layer of gravel and sand and we're good to put the plants in after we've filled it up with water. And voila, just like that, we're transformed. Now, that looks awful. <laughs> now I've got loads of detail stuff coming right now. Right, I think, I've, I think I've nailed it there. That looks good. I don't want to overdo it. I want to leave it like that. Let the plants in the background just sort of cover that whole gray area that you can see. That The whole background here, sorry, I've, I haven't explained to you guys. I built a while ago. It's all done, cut, it all looked like that bottom bit to start with. And then I covered it all with si black silicon and sort of like a, a foresty barky stuff you can buy for, you know, lizard enclosures, that sort of thing. Lizards or geckos, you know what I mean. And then I put some little plant pots in there and silicone them in with foam and everything as well. So I've got a full build video for this, by the way. If you click the link in the top corner, either there or there, I'm not even sure which way around. It'll be that way, yeah, there. Uh, it'll tell you to go there. Yeah, these are all doing really well. They're suffering at the moment a little bit because there's been no moisture at the bottom keeping the whole place humid. But that's what we're doing now. We're sorting it out. So yeah, that's brilliant. We're gonna fill this up with water now and then I can get a little filter in there just to sort of move the water around. Nothing too drastic. Well, I say that now, I've got a decent one in mind actually. And the guppies do enjoy a decent bit of flow, so that would be good. But yeah, now we just need to fill it up with water. So believe it or not, it's actually the next day and yesterday I ran out of time so I left the whole thing in this state. <laughs> I told you I had a lot of plants to put into it and I really do, hang on. Oh, I've smashed it again. There we go, they're all floating on the top. That looks horrible, doesn't it? But look, the water has gone crystal clear, look. That's beautiful. So I wanna take all, beautiful. Don't know why I said it like that. I wanna take all of this out now and attach each and every piece to rocks and I can just put them in there. And there might be too many, so I'm gonna put them in. If there's too many, I'll put them in another aquarium as well. I've got all the cube aquariums next door as well. Yeah, so I've actually got, oh, that's way too bright. Sorry, hang on, oh, wrong way. Yeah, so I've got 
all of these aquariums as well so i can put some like java ferns and anubias if i need to in these not like sort of permanently but it, you know it keeps it going looks good at the time being in between the time that we're scaping them all and it probably means i can get some shrimp and that going as well because basically i want this whole system to be sort of up and running before i put any of the shrimp in the filters have now been running for four days so you know they're not gonna be cycled yet i've been adding food in as well just to try and get that sort of ammonia cycle sort of going so usually i don't worry about cycling tanks too much because i've got media that i can put in like canister filters but with sponge filters this is all new like all fresh so it's like it needs time to, to get ready for livestock so that's all the plants out it's gone a little bit murky again but that little filter will clear it in no time and all of the plants are down in this bucket we've got like bulbitus there's bulbitus looking nice and then down there look we've got loads and loads of java ferns we've got anubius so all of these ones i want to attach to little rocks so that we can move them around from aquarium to aquarium when needed and just to keep them growing nicely as well but not have them sort of locked down in one place and the way to do that is just to take a rock like this one that won't focus <laughs> take a rock like that don't chuck it down and then you need to take some cyanoacrylate, cyan, cyanoacrylate super glue. This is the gel form. I like to use this gorilla stuff. And that is completely like, it's not harmful to fish or plants or anything like that. And it instantly sort of dries when it touches contact, touches contact with water. You know what I mean? When it touches stuff, it glues. It's glue. Oh, for God. So this is an old Java fern plant, which means that there's a few dead sort of leaves on it. That's fine. Just pick them off. If they're loose, pick them off. You're sort of pruning it as you go get rid of the bad ones and then you're left with a really really healthy plant and sometimes actually you'll find that these bad ones look have got little babies on them as well so baby plantlets keep those maybe put them something separate or, or group them all together and you get something really nice going from it don't even know what i'm saying what does that mean so we then want to take the nice flat area of the rock that you've got put some of the super glue gel on just spread it about and blob it on like that be liberal with it and then just press it onto the rhizome of the plant like that oh yeah guys just look at these beautiful plants i've got loads there maybe too many and um, there's still loads left i've got some nice big bits of bulbitis there some more java ferns those are looking a bit more rough than these were so i'm going to go through those and just prune them really extensively so we can sort of start again with a new baby plant if you like but these ones looking great i think i can put all of these in the setup we'll see we'll see so just like usual when you're escaping the tank you want to pick up the sort of biggest piece first and then you want to put it at the back so there's a nice little gap right in there i think that'll do nicely it'd help if i film it there you go so a nice little gap at the back there now that's good because it's going to provide a bit of refuge for the babies as well see they'll be able to go in here and sort of hide because sometimes they will be eaten by the, the parents um i don't know if it's the male the female i don't know but sometimes you see that there's like a hundred babies you come back only like 10 have survived so that's good that gives them a good little place And you may also notice guys it's quite dark down there in comparison to my usual planted tanks but that doesn't really matter because we're using plants that don't require high lighting so java ferns I'll probably add some java moss in there as well um, anubias all these plants they, they, they will survive in a bucket believe it or not i've had these plants that you're seeing in here now and i mean look at how vibrant and green they are they've been in my old studio with no light well a little bit of light just from some of the older tanks i've still got in there um, and they've just been in like some tubs in the bottom and they're just absolutely thriving. And it's funny, isn't it? We can, sometimes we can set up these perfect like conditions for our plants and think, why aren't they growing? But then you chuck them in a bucket and they'll just grow amazing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that, that is looking sick. I love that, that looks proper real. This is my guppy rainforest. Thinking about putting some sort of system in like, you know, just a secondary filter like there, but putting an outlet hose to it, running it up the top with some airline tube across the top and just putting a few little pinpricks along it just to get a trickle coming down 
I mean, you will need to do more water changes to start with as the organic material comes into the water, but that shouldn't be an issue. That way, this will keep like, you know, moist all the time. And now that I've got water in here, I should only need to spray it down at the top here every two to three days. Currently, I'm doing it every day, but before I didn't need to when I had all water in it before. But yeah, that looks fantastic. I really, really like that. I feel like it does need some leaf litter though to look properly good, but there's actually quite a bit of flow coming out of this little, so you can see how much it's blowing. If I put leaf litter in there, it's all just gonna collect down the back. But saying that, it's good for the fish. It's natural looking. I'll just put some in and let it see where it lies. Oh yeah, did somebody order an ultra realistic guppy farm? Because you got it. I'm going to chuck in some beneficial bacteria. That sponge in there is like from a used sort of setup already. So technically speaking, if we put a few fish in, it would be all right. But when I do put the fish in, I'm going to chuck in an absolute ton of beneficial bacteria as well. So just get it all seeded as you do it. If you're going to do it that way, you need to do lots of water changes as well, just to keep on top of any ammonia spikes, but perfectly doable with small fish. So that is all looking fantastic and very soon I'm going to be getting the guppies for it. I'm not sure which video, one coming up, but make sure to click the subscribe, the like button. I'll see you on the next one.